Since it became a proper supercar manufacturer, McLaren Automotive pledged that each year at least one new model would be rolling off its Woking plant. So far, it has stuck to the plan, with the MP4-12C, 2011, MP4-12C Spider, 2012, P1, 2013, 650S and 650S Spider, 2014, and the 675 LT and 570S, 2015. When production of the 570S commenced, it was reported that its open-top version, the Spider, will come in 2017. At the same time, design director Frank Stevenson revealed that the sports series, which forms the base lineup of the company and also includes the lower-powered 540C, will get a new edition as early as 2016. Stevenson pointed out that the new McLaren will be a different kind of car for the client to aspire to. So the 570S will attract one type of client and the 570 blank will attract a different sort of buyer. You don't want those overlapping, definitely. The not-so-heavily camouflaged McLaren we see in these images could very well be the car he was referring to. Although it's clearly based on the 570S, it has a completely different, elongated roofline that, as far as we can tell, liberates room behind the front seats. Since it's going to be aimed to a different buyer than existing models, the new sports series that's tentatively known as the 570S GT could very well have the pair of rear seats, making it McLaren's first four-seater or, more accurately, two plus two. The GT will use the monocell carbon fiber tub and 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 that form the basis for all current McLarens. The interior will be more luxurious and it makes sense to be offered in two variants with 570 and 540 PS for the 570S and base 540C respectively.